Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at the shoot system of plants. Now I chose this picture here just because it shows the basic morphology of a plant, um, specifically in the shoot system, the leaves, the fruit, the flower, and the stem. So those are the main areas of the plant that we'll be looking at today. So we have a few learning goals. You should be able to describe the role or the purpose of the shoot system. You should be able to identify the shoot system from a diagram and you should be able to list and describe the parts of the shoot system. So let's take a look here at a plant. The part that is below the surface is the root system and the part that is above the surface is called the shoot system. Now the shoot system has several parts. There's the leaf, the fruit, the flower, the stem, and the shoot apex, which is the very top where the plant is growing upwards. So those are the main parts of the shoot system. So what's the role? Well, it's the location of photosynthesis, particularly in the leaves, and also it produces flowers for reproduction. So let's take a look at each of these different structures one at a time. The first is the leaf. So this is the main photosynthetic structure in the plant. And some leaves also have other roles, such as support, attraction, protection, and reproduction. So those are all roles that some leaves may possess, but all of them are really important for photosynthesis. The next one is the fruit and flower. Now these contain the reproductive organs. So the male parts produce the pollen grains and the female parts produce the eggs. So they're responsible for reproduction. Um, and the fertilized eggs form seeds and the seeds are usually protected within the fruit. So that's where the seeds and fruit come into play. The next part is the shoot apex, and this is the terminal or the end portion of the stem where upwards growth occurs. So we know that in the roots, that's where it grows down, and the shoot apex is where the plant grows upwards. The next is the stem, and this supports the branches, the leaves, and the flowers. And then some stems are also used for food storage, protection, photosynthesis, and reproduction. So not all of them have those roles, but some of them do. And you can see in this picture um, where the leaves come out from the stem, we call those nodes. And in between the nodes are what we call internodes. So those are dis just different sections of the stem. So let's take another look at our learning goals. We should be able to describe the role of the root system, or sorry, the shoot system. You should be able to identify the shoot system from a diagram, and you should be able to list and describe the parts of the shoot system. If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.